FPL and this time it's uh, round 6 of the 55 mode and we are at the circuit uh, Roy Heskit with uh, again the Gordini, the slowest car of the mod, but because I need to save some tokens after uh, using the fastest car at uh, Indianapolis, but uh, because after this race we have uh, upcoming uh, Reims, which is a very fast circuit, so I need to get a faster car there, and also at uh, Spa, which is maybe even, yeah, even faster circuit. So I'm basically handicapping myself for this race on purpose, but hopefully we can still get a good result and some points. So yeah, there is about 10 minutes until the server is up, so let's go into the game and warm up a little bit. And also I need to check if uh, everything is okay with the audio, but I think so. Okay, Donald, thank you. Okay. Let's see. By the way, I'm going to have a pre border now with the information, the telemetry up and down on the screen. So it should be a little bit easier to follow what is going on. Do a drift whether you like it or not. Yeah, it's inevitable. The car is drifting all over the place. I need to work more on my setup. I'm not so happy with the setup actually. I made a very fast time and I, then whatever I changed on the setup I couldn't improve. I just made it made things worse. Maybe not worse in terms of pace. I improved the stability but I couldn't get to the same lap time. Okay, everything seems good. Let's test a little bit offline before the server is up. I did some laps here so it will be more interesting to watch. Oh yeah, nice. You should have joined by the way, Don. Or maybe you can't. Or did you join actually at the privateers? I don't remember. Or are you still testing and not decided for which of the two divisions you are more qualified to go? Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to this setup, maybe, which is my fastest. It's very strange because sometimes the car feels very nice, but I'm slower. And sometimes it's the opposite. Actually, no, let, let me try with the latest again. Okay, I'm running stiffer, but softer dampers. No, just of one, so we can... Okay, okay, I get it. Uh, let's see the volume. Seems okay. I've never driven this circuit before. Maybe the volume is a little bit loud. Just a, a little bit less. So I can hear my voice. So yeah, I've never driven this circuit, but even though it's quite a slow circuit, all the corners are so slow, except maybe one corner. And turn one is flat out. But I like the circuit, it's interesting layout. But I didn't practice for the race again, only single flying laps before the brakes go off. So I would have to adapt for the rings with the braking points.
In each scenario, I was thinking of taking the Ferrari T4625 because it, it feels so nice to drive, but it costs too many tokens and I need to save. I use up too much at Indy with the fastest car. I'm not going to use this setup. Something. I keep going in the wrong direction for some reason. Let's try this one again. Even though with this one I'm not happy with the gears, I think an easier thing for the race would be to have shorter first and shorter second, and use second gear in some of the corners. But the problem is first gear for some corners becomes so short you need to short shift or not apply too much throttle too early otherwise the car is just sliding too much It's difficult with a 4 speed gearbox to make it perfect Such a difficult corner here off camber a little bit the inside and getting much tighter before the exit. Yeah, because the brakes are green just at the beginning of uh, the turn and then they get they get yellow red on the second fly lap I mean if that's what you're talking about. Even if you save the brakes on the formation lap, on the warm-up lap, at the end of the first line lap, you're already losing the brakes. And then they don't have enough time to cool down. Okay, still a tenth of my best at uh, sector 1. I break too early, maybe. There, we don't have any brakes already. I hate the way it snaps when it hits the optimal torque. I keep trying to fix that, but it's not working out. Not a very good second sector. Fast into the last corner. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. Okay, 18:43. Still half a second of my best. Let's go to the server though. Oh, I need to check the password. I forgot completely.
grounds. Why is the server list not showing? What is going on? Do I have to join via AP? IP? Yeah. Mm, this is this is bad. I hope some people don't miss the race. Okay, let's try with the IP. Let me check. Oh yeah, I have the old for some reason. Yeah, I forgot. I reinstalled Igor and I should have saved the address. Okay. Let's fix it. Still nothing. Hmm. This is this is not normal. Wait, it didn't save. What is going on? Oh my god. What is going on? It keeps resetting. Okay, I'm going to join via AP. Let me check the AP. The IP, sorry. Not AP. It it keeps resetting to the old version for some reason. Okay, let me write it here. Because we cannot out tap.
Yeah, for next time I'll try to fix it. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Do we have to enter the port as well? Let's try. Oh, there it is. Oh, it worked. Losing some time, which I could use to set up the car, but it's fine. Five minutes only. How many on the server? Not many people yet. Okay, so what to do? What to do? Check something. Yeah, let's try to go back to the... That's the question, should I use long first or not? It's going to to compromise my start. But that's not so important, anyway. Six, seven point seven, four point six. And we need to figure out the consumption as well. Okay, let's see. You know, I'm going to try something. Let's try with a stiffer front. Maybe it will stop the snapping on exit, but I need to make the car... Oh, okay, it's already softer front anti-rover. To make the car turn easier. Maybe we can stay with zero tow. What do you mean you hope the race happens? It's going to happen, obviously. The server is up. Oh yeah, I see, I see. Let's go with this. Let's save the brakes for the flying lap. Yeah, so with the shorter first, I have to short shift on turn one and the exit. I could try to stay in second all the way, but it turns more difficult. Entering the corner, so we'll see. Depends how I feel about it on the brakes. And here as well, I cannot really floor it. 
it's uh, it's hitting the ref limiter and spinning around, sliding around too much. For such an underpowered car, it has so much torque. It's very strange. Some of the other cars are very stable on acceleration, but not this one. It just keeps spinning around. Yeah, definitely need to go down first to make it turn and then go to second gear. Okay, this was a good first sector. Just uh, four hundreds of my all-time best. And, oh, I didn't change to first. Okay, I was distracted by something. But it felt good. It felt good. Yeah, yeah, something is up in the uh, windows. That's what's happening. Let me check. Oh yeah, the stupid... Because I haven't joined directly before. Also, I haven't joined with this uh, installation of Grand Legends with Preblood. That's why. The car felt good, I think maybe that's the key, to have a softer rear, because the weight is mostly on the front, I assume. I think increasing the rear also helped at least one them, so maybe that's uh, also a key, at least for this car, or maybe this circuit. To reduce the understeer on entry, make it rotate faster. But I need to be very careful at turn 2, the brakes are disappearing right as I'm entering the turn. Even though I'm saving them now, just turn 1 alone uses up so much brake. And I'm not so good at some of the other guys, so to snap the car around and use the sliding as a brake. Like a Scandinavian fleet, kind of. Oh, personal best at sector 1. I guess a tighter line is most optimal. And no brakes, no brakes. It's driving so much.
second sector not so good compared to my overall best from testing. Yeah, a little bit carrying too much speed in some of the corners. The right hander in the middle of the lap. But nice, almost uh, close to my personal best. But we should be able to do a 17. Oh, but also now I'm running with less fuel, so that's helping. Yeah, yeah, the double left at the end, you mean. I turned too early there, and I brake too late. You need to brake a little bit early so you can get on the throttle at the apex. Overall, I like the balance. I wonder if this shouldn't be so high up. It felt good. Still a little bit too unstable on exits. Maybe I should try with less toe and a little bit at the rear. I don't know. It depends how you want to drive the car. Also for the dampers, I really am not sure. Because with this mod, we have very high numbers, up to 15. But anytime I've tried uh, stiffer dampers, it didn't feel so good. Only at Indy, I think it helped. For faster corners. Maybe the anti-roll bar is too stiff at the rear as well. Let's try with a lower rear, just a little bit. Oh, we can use less fuel. This car uses so little fuel, actually. I think this track would have been great for the, the cars with these brakes. But yeah, I'm just restricted with the tokens. Now, I don't think I'm going to repeat sector 1. It was just on the limit, taking the inside line and accelerating on time. But we, if we can improve sector 2 and 3, it should still be possible to set a 17. Oh, well, hopefully not damage. Or no serious damage. Also, this corner so much understeer in second gear. Cannot get it to the inside. Mm, I don't know. I don't know because I didn't test so much with the other cars. Just the Ferrari, but a few laps. And I was running the wrong pressures. So I have no idea. Also in the race I don't think it's going to be that good. It just has no brakes at all. On this car the brakes disappear much quicker than the Ferrari for example. So good. There. If we can take maybe this corner better. But it's snapping even more now on throttle. Maybe it's the toe setting. I should uh, change the toe setting again. Improving just a little bit. <laughs> but I lost too much at... Uh, 
the first and third sectors. Hmm. I thought that the third sector was better, but no. Maybe I break too early. Hey Fred, nice to see you. No, for, for Ferrari I was using the wrong uh, pressures and I was too slow, 190. But the car is felt much better. It should be possible to go quick with it. Wow, equal times. Cars from your youth. <laughs> hey Dom, this track doesn't like it. Is it South Africa? Yeah, it is. Roy Heskett. I didn't even know this track exists. I don't think it's fantasy track. It should be a real track, but I don't know. Okay, so how do we fix this? Let's use something else, but what to do about... If I go with more coast, for some corners it will be better, but for others I may lose the rear end. Especially the slow ones, because I'm braking so deep and trailing there. But maybe I can try. Maybe we can control it with uh, the anti roll bar a little bit. But let's save separately. Oh, the pressures were a little bit cold. Interesting. In testing, I was not running so low pressures. Let's increase by one click. It must be because I'm running less fuel. I guess. Oh, the car uses so little fuel. It's interesting. Three liters for two laps. But yeah, I cannot go lower than that. Yeah, I think it's going to be quite bad in the race, though. With the brakes. Yeah, I didn't know this track at all before. Uh, just the guy. The, the one running the F1 team, Roy Heskett. It's named after him, I guess. Or maybe he built it, I don't know. This corner is the most difficult one. Turn two. Or maybe turn, turn three if you count the flat out corner at the start. The difficult thing of doing just one lap, you don't even have tire temps. If we had warmer tires, it could be much quicker. Maybe half a second, who knows. Okay, this was good. Let's try to be efficient on this part as well. This 
this felt smooth. I was trying not to make too many corrections. Let's see. Yes. Okay, this was a really good lap. On, on the first sector I lost some time, but I was trying to save the brakes just a little bit for uh, turn 2. Or turn, turn 3. The second slower corner. But I'm happy the, the second and third sector were very good. Very smooth. The balance felt good as well. Oh, evil going much quicker, but he's with a faster car. So it's expected. What is he using? Alfieri. I don't know. The other word with the M. Officine Alfieri. Yeah, I don't remember which car is this. I want to mod all these cars into LFS. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah, so easy to overdo it, but that's also because we are running uh, colder tires. It will take maybe 3-4 laps to really get them up to 10. But who knows how is the balance then. Maybe I should start testing for the race. I don't think I can improve this by too much. The race is more important. Okay, 170. Seven nine Safe. I can probably uh, gain one tenth, but I would need to repeat the third, the second and third sector perfectly. So no point in trying anymore for qualifying. So let's uh, fuel up and uh, figure out the consumption as well. Especially without brakes, because that's most important. Can you choose your car? Yeah, you have a token system. You earn tokens for racing, and then you spend the tokens on the different cars, and they have assigned costs. So different costs for the different cars. So basically you have to have a strategy on which track, which car you want to drive. Save some tokens somewhere. Lose some tokens for other races. In the previous round I used the fastest car at Indy, Ovo. And now I have only 5 tokens, gaining 10 for the race start. 15 tokens. And this car costs 0. So yeah, I'm saving some tokens for the future races. It's an interesting system. They've always used it for different championships in the uh, UK GPL. Let's see. The pressures could be too high, by the way, for the race. I think I'm going to go one click lower. And how much fuel? Maybe like this. Also, I'm not sure about uh, this. Because we don't have brakes, the car will be rolling on its own and it will uh, slide too much of throttle. So I'm going to lock the coast a little bit more again. This mostly helps, the open coast mostly helps with trail braking to rotate the car faster. But off throttle it's quite bad. And off the brake, I mean. Off throttle is fine, but off the brake it's quite bad. Let's see. Yeah, this is the weakest car. It's lighter car, lighter chassis. Maybe that's why it's so good here. It it's fast on the corners. But it has very little traction and the power is very low. And the brakes are very bad. Just one moment. Yeah, I don't know, Don, if this is a monster lap time, but it is my best. And I really tested a lot earlier. 
I did like two hours of testing to experiment with the setup. So I'm happy with this. First sector is very difficult to replicate, like uh, over a tenth quicker. But maybe that saved me some breaks for the other sector, so it's difficult to say. Okay, I need to set it like this and let's see the consumption on on the first line lap and then on the second without breaks. Okay, I'm down to P3, but it's fine. If I can finish maybe top five, I'll be happy in the race. But for that I, did, I need to drive without any mistakes, which is going to be very difficult. Let's try to quickly figure out the braking points without uh, with fading brakes. Oh, so much understeer with fuel. I didn't expect that. Oh, never mind. I was in second gear. Maybe that's why. But it's definitely more understeer in general. Also easier to accelerate though, because the car is not planted on the road. 55, 61, okay. No brakes. <laughs> Awful corner. We just so badly cumbered and going up as well, the rear gets lighter. Okay, so 1.1 per lap, very low consumption. Let's see without brakes. Wow, it's going downhill, so the car is not slowing down at all. I just realized, because we're going downhill, it's even worse. Yeah, I have to ease off. So let's find out on the next lap. Even earlier I have to slow up. And yeah, this problem without brakes. If you slow down too late, that's what happens. You have to get back on the throttle earlier. Prevent the rear from stepping out too much. Oh, was it 54? I don't know, I saw something different. Oh yeah, it was, it was, okay. So yeah, 1.2 or 1.1. I think without brakes it should be lower consumption. Let's see. So slow you go.
could I go with even more cost, maybe at 30, to just prevent the car from spinning around on end if I brake a little bit too late. Another downhill braking. Yeah, I think it's 1.1 now without even almost 1.0 without brakes. Okay, this was better. If you brake on time, it's fine. The car doesn't snap around. So I just need to find the braking points, that's all. Maybe top of the hill here is uh, the perfect. Yeah, almost. This was a nice lap, smooth and without any drama. But I'm getting back on the throttle earlier, so yeah, about 1.1, let's say. Yeah, again here, top of the, the crest is the perfect braking point. At least we have some reference points without having to look on the side of the road. Somehow it works perfectly for this car. At least with this uh, fuel amount. And after this lap, I'm going to stop to check the tires. We need to make sure not to overheat. There he is. For this corner I'm not still sure where to brake. Maybe yeah, at the sign. At the sign and then letting the car roll. And for last corner we have just a little bit of a dab on the brakes. It's fine. Even at red brakes. Oh, I think Enrique went quickest now. Wait, did he do a lag time? 1.12. Yeah, something must have happened. Let's uh, con calculate the fuel as well. Oh yeah, sometimes it happens when uh, the server lacks. It, it's very rare, but it happens. I've seen it before. Wow, even Evo improved even further. Uh, down to 70 zero. Okay, he's going to let uh, Clive overtake him at the start. Now let's check. Oh, actually the pressures are quite low. I'm definitely going to increase. Maybe not the front. The front is fine. The rear is a little bit low. Yeah. This should be good. I could increase actually the front. Why not? It would help us a little bit with the top speed. And we only have one right-hander. So it's fine. 
to sacrifice a little bit of balance. Uh, what about the fuel? How many laps do we have? 35 I can go with uh, 42 liters it should be good a little bit risky maybe but if we get some slipstream as well it should help as well so yeah i'm going to risk it let's try just need to avoid making mistakes and using too much throttle and stuff like that if necessary i'll save fuel with uh, short shifting lifting up even earlier stuff like that yeah i'm not sure about some of the settings but too late to change now five minutes to go Let's see how is the bounce with less fuel. In the penultimate corner, if you're re really br brave on the exit, you can go all the way to the right, to the edge of the road, and gain a lot of time, but you would have to practice more to, to be confident how much you can open up there. Maybe even go off a few times to figure it out. By the way, second gear feels a little bit long sometimes. The frames are dropping, by the way, for some reason. Okay, now, now they are back up. Yeah, too late. Even just 10 meters later and it's much worse. Oh no, the engine. The engine get, got damaged. I changed down gears too fast. Yeah, you need to be very consistent and precise. Can we change it just a little bit? No, it's too much of a jump. If it was 6.1, I would have done it, but maybe this is too much.
on the first line lap with the brakes I'm using a little bit more fuel and maybe also on the opening lap a little bit risky maybe let's go with 45 it's not a big difference Dimi driving the Ferrari. I hope he read my comments earlier. I told him to increase the pressures of the tires because this car, for example, uh, for some reason, he has a completely wrong default setup compared to the other cars. It has too low pressures, too soft suspension. It's like the default for the original cars. And pressures in this mode make a huge difference in lap time. You gain so much time on the straights. Up to a point. But he managed to qualify in 6, so good job. Good job by him. And we managed to beat Leo, who is always faster than me most of the time, so... Maybe he didn't practice that much. Okay, he increased. Okay. I think he my best was 19.7 or something, so he improved a lot. But I don't know, maybe the Ferrari around this track isn't as quick. In terms of handling, it felt much better than the Gordini. So I don't know why. It makes it makes little sense to me. Why the Gordini should be so quick? It must be the lighter chassis because the Ferrari I think is with fuel almost uh, 900 kilograms and here we have uh, less than 800. So yeah, it must be that. On such a Mickey Mouse track it's probably the weight. I think we were very close to Enrique, so we should be battling at least at the beginning with him. But I really need to be careful with the brakes. If I break too late, it'll be over. And also in the race, Leo and Phil are going to be threatening from behind. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what happens. I hope for a nice uh, race without uh, mistakes, without crashes. But we have to be careful with the brakes. Even if someone doesn't want to hit us, it could happen because of the brake issue, especially downhill. Oh no, again, again the FPS is very low, with more cars around me. Why? This is not normal. 26 FPS, oh my god. Yeah, I didn't expect this. With more cars, I don't have any frames. Yeah, I didn't test with any cars, so I have no idea. I think I know what is going on. And I'll try to fix it for the next race, but too late now. This is awful. And I have to do this ho the whole race like this. If we are racing others. Yeah, something with the mirrors, maybe. Hopefully when the others drop behind, it will improve. I think it's because I'm running direct uh, 3D 
instead of OpenGL. Is this evil making a mistake? Oh, Enrique flying in the front, by the way. Oh, never mind, this is Enrique actually. He has better brakes, I guess. Yeah, so I always used OpenGL. But I had some issues with it on this uh, new installation and I switched to Direct 3D. Oh, I break the left. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm sorry. I was talking and not paying attention at all. Now it's going to be even worse with so many cuts. Yeah, I didn't expect this to happen. It makes zero sense on a much more modern PC than the game release here. But okay, it's going to make for an interesting race. I hope we don't have too much damage and the balance will be good. I was getting too distracted and talking about the issue, but I forgot to break on time. Yeah, driving with 30 frames <laughs> and sometimes even less especially if I get into between these cars it's going to be like at the start of the race let's try not to hit anyone though I'm sorry for Enrique, I couldn't avoid hitting him, I went off exactly where he did. He must have braked too late as well. I guess the people in front have better brakes. I was much quicker than them in qualifying, but now I cannot make much time. And they're also faster on the straights, so how am I going to overtake with uh, less power and early braking? I have no idea. I'm okay in the slow corners, but then in the fa final sector and the start of the lap, they are pulling away.
Yeah, but I never expected this issue with the frames. Johnny in front up to 10 place now yeah I don't dare break too late I could break a little bit later obviously but it's so risky especially with these low frames I cannot feel the car well enough And I don't want to hit anyone as well. Oh no, they went to each other, oh my god, almost. Don't hit me from the side, please. What is he doing? He doesn't want no I'm there. Ah, uh, this was not nice. This was not nice at all. He basically pushed me right. Not so much time to the other guys in front, I was just catching them up. Almost losing there, changing down too fast. And he's lagging a little bit as well. It's going to be very difficult if he's so aggressive on the defense. He's getting some slipstream. Somehow he's breaking later than me. Oh no, 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 no. Please. Let me. Okay. Or maybe he break too late. I don't think I hit him, but maybe he tried to avoid me. I don't know why he's driving so aggressively in defense when he's obviously slower. He has nothing to gain from that. Give me running second, nice. Actually, Enrique is running in fifth, so he must have recovered faster than me somehow. Maybe I hit him. When I hit him, I straighten his car. Yeah, but this is so, so, such a shame with the frames. I'm so annoyed. It's ruining the enjoyment for both myself and you guys. No stop. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. It it must be the the change from open gel to direct 3D. Oh no. Yeah, impossible, impossible to, to fill the car with these frames. Yeah, I... Of course, we have the worst drop results situation with the championship, but... It's not helping at all. And I was confident for this race. The car felt good. But I just cannot judge the speed. As good as possible with this problem. You can see I wasn't even catching the guys in front. Even though I'm quicker than them normally. And somehow, some of the other guys in the Gordini are breaking later. I don't know how. Okay, down to 10th position. We can still recover maybe to 7 or 6th. If I don't make more mistakes. So I think maybe I have a little bit of damage because the car feels different than in uh, practice with fuel. It's nothing more. Yeah, he had a better exit, but I had to lift it, not to hit him. I guess I should have realized in... Uh, oh, let's slow down. In practice, when I had some FPS drops here and there, but I didn't realize it, realize it was because of the other cars. I thought something momentarily in Windows maybe happened or the server. Again, almost losing the corner. Okay, 24 laps to go. Still some time to recover ground if I stop making stupid mistakes. Yeah, again, again, it's getting like worse on braking. Or maybe because I'm getting some slipstream, I'm arriving faster at the corner. Maybe it's that. The slipstream is so strong with these cars. So let's just brake early. And life in front is getting slipstream is also difficult to overtake him. Also, I wonder if some of them are running hard pressures to have a straight line speed.
Oh, he's breaking so late. I think he must be not using the brakes somewhere so he can save a little bit more brake for the straight. Maybe my strategy isn't so good with the brakes. I just go to red everywhere. He's so quick through this right hand. That was a good exit. Okay, approaching from the inside a little bit more risky. Managed to break just on time. Nice! I'm happy with that overtake. Good exit and... Sorry guys, cannot really even read the chat, by the way. It requires so much focus not to overdo the brake or the acceleration. It feels much easier now that the frames are not dropping that much because we don't have so many cars around. Much easier to drive. The default game is with 37 FPS by the way. But the problem here is the FPS is changing up and down. That makes it much worse. Not just the low FPS. So, um, no scary without brakes. You, you cannot really judge until the last moment if you slow down enough. Okay, we are catching some people, but how can we overtake is a different matter. Dimitrt, okay, I hope he managed to keep the place. What happened to Leo though? Is he there? Or did he make a mistake as well? Okay, this time I messed up the final corner. Yeah, catching fifth place for you. The gap is less now. No, I'm reading on the straight. It's not a problem once in a lap. But here in these first two corners, it's impossible. And four cars in front, but I cannot really catch them fast enough at the moment. Maybe I'm not so fast. If I can take the final corner again as fast as I did, that would help. They are always quicker in the right-hander. I think I set up the car too much for the left-handers.
Yeah, this part now, this is where I'm losing some time. On the uphill and then uh, maybe just the lack of power of this car on the uphill section. Not the corners themselves. I guess I'll just keep taking risks in the final corners. These two now. To compensate. Thank you for the race, Rate Milski. Hope you had a good stream. Let's be careful with the brakes because I'm getting even more of a slipstream now. See, it's not stopping at all. It's like the slipstream is actually pulling you forward and you're not stopping. Even off throttle. He let me through. Was that few? I think it was few. Yeah. Oh no, it was John. Okay. Few is able to break later with this car. Basically everyone is breaking later than me. Even the people in the same car. Somehow. is so fast in this part. I set up the car to asymmetrically, I guess. So the right hander is uh, my worst uh, corner. laps to go not too many left the race picked up pace in the previous 10 laps Yeah, by the way, to anyone new on the, to the race, who joined later, the frames are lower because I changed to a different graphics settings and with more cars around me, the frames are dropping for some reason. But I only figured that out as the race began, so no way to fix it. But I'll fix it for the next race. Okay, so Phil is catching the guys in front. If I can stay with him, 
we have a chance to move it at least maybe two positions Yeah, let's not short shift anymore. I think it's better not to short shift in those corners. Uh, how is he going so fast through the right hander? I don't understand. My car is under steering so much. I think I don't have a chance to beat Pio in a straight fight, he is too fast. In the second part of the lap he is just pulling away so much. Also Johnny very fast behind, he is not uh, dropping back. I hope the frames don't drop too much now with more cards as we close in on these guys. Pulvio and Donny. And Johnny just one second behind as well. Oh no, I messed up on the recovery. Ah, I didn't realize he was spinning in front of you. Otherwise I could have uh, reacted earlier. And then I pressed the throttle too much on the grass. Ah, shame. Well, it's not my race, obviously, but it's fine. I had so much luck actually so far in the championship. Good results in most races. And even two wins. So it was bound to happen sooner or later. But at least I'm with the zero token card, so it's fine. We can just drop this result from the champion from the standings. Yeah, I was looking too much at Phil's car, so I didn't see the other driver making a mistake. If I saw it on time, I could have easily went to the right side. But it's not over, let's keep pushing. We can maybe still make up some places.
I think I'm taking the last corner past this stuff, everyone, at least around me. So that's the, the place I can recover some ground. As long as I don't mess up the other corners. a little bit later I was distracted but fortunately we had a little bit of brake left or recovered on the straight so I could brush off some speed instantly and then let the car roll to the corner I think my technique with the brakes is not correct I should use up immediately whatever brakes we have recovered much quicker instead of uh, breaking gently He's getting slipstream. Wow. How is he doing this? I don't understand. He's with the same car. Oh, come on, keep going. Five. Don't brake test me. He's with the same car, but he has more brake. Is it something to do with the brake bias? I don't know. Or is he using a shifter and changing down directly to first? Ah, uh, shame. I was hoping to overtake there. Thank you, Daniel. But uh, unfortunately, this is losing time for both of us compared to the guys in front. Nine laps to go. Eight, actually. Yeah. Not much time left. Yes, he, he still has brakes, and I don't. Mine are gone much earlier. I think he's not using brakes in uh, the middle of the lap, in the right hander. And maybe then, even in the left hander at the end of the lap. So basically, just in the two corners, the slow lefts. I could try something like that and see what happens, but I'm not sure. Let's try. But it's not turning without brake, that's the problem. I set it up to use a little bit of uh, 
break to rotate the car. I guess it's a mistake. For the race at least. Okay, saved a little bit more brakes, so let's see how it's going to be now. At uh, turn one. Yeah, I had maybe 10 meters more. Oh, I'm being uh, overtaken. Who is this? And in the same car as well. Wow, what is going on? Sliding around. Yeah, I guess that's the way to do it. Or maybe this is not the same car, just looking similarly. It's much quicker than my Gordini. Maybe it's the leader. I think you can change the information in Tribula, but I don't know which button it is. Yeah, because the color is similar, I don't know. But I cannot be that slow in the same car. It makes no sense. Five laps to go. Maybe we can overtake Johnny, and that will be it. Oh no. Hey, CB. Just noticed you're in the chat. Actually, if I can overtake Johnny, 6th place will be quite nice, considering the, the bad luck. set up the camber all the way to the left for left-handers and this right-hander is uh, costing me so much time
let's not get too close so I can get a good taxi. I messed up a little bit. Still okay though, but it would could have been could have been better. Out of the final corner. But he's going to break later probably. Or maybe not. Yeah, we are taking the position. Two laps to go. Or maybe even, even one if we were a lap. What am I doing? Ah! The rears are too hot, the right rear. Oh my god, so stupid. I guess he could have defended, but he, he stayed on the right. So lucky they are not to lose it out of the final corner. And because the car is lighter as well, so it's uh, more difficult to control and throttle. Okay, finishing sixth. I guess not too bad considering. Could have been easily maybe second and third with the pace I have. Dimi finishing in third. Congrats, Dimi. Awesome job. What a tough race. If it wasn't from the, for the frames at the beginning, I think I could have just escaped the drama and keep going. But then it would have been quite a boring race for you to watch, so... Thank you, thank you. It was... at least it was exciting. Oh yeah, I was lapped. That must have been evil, going so quick. I guess his car is similar color. And Donny almost getting lapped at the end. Shame about uh, Leo. Oh, Leo retiring. I didn't see what happened. Was it him that I hit? But I don't think it was him. It was uh, Enrique. And then he recovered. Okay, let's save the set. Uh, the replay. Thank you. Yeah. I think the the one I regret the most is when uh, you couldn't avoid the spun car and I hit him too. Because we were just recovering Grant and even catching up to Dimi, I think. 
it could have been very interesting at the end for a fourth and third place to battle, but because realistically I couldn't have finished more than third with Enrique going, he was too quick. But yeah, we could have battled for fourth and uh, third. Oh. Let's wait a little bit to check the results on the forum and to see where is the next race. I think it's Reims and on which date. That was my fastest lap. Oh, right at the end, 118. Oh, he is with Maserati, okay. Yeah, of course, Mas. It just doesn't say here in the players list. Okay, so this is the Maserati. Nice result for Donny. He had so much bad luck in previous races, but... Oh, actually, why... No, this is practice, never mind. Yeah, he finished fourth. Just waiting for the newspaper and then we'll check. Okay. Yeah, this setting, um, Direct 3D. Normally I'm using OpenGL, but I was having some flickering on this installation and with the Direct 3D, it was fine. But I didn't think the FPS would drop with more cars. But I'll try to fix it for next time. Maybe it's something to do with the settings here. For the flickering issue. Okay, let's see. Maybe just... Uh, Two, three minutes until it updates. I wish the race was longer. It was so nice to dice with these cars, uh, with these drivers around us. Trying to overtake, working out the breaking point, getting better exits. It was fun. It's always like that, when you have a bad race, you always wish the race was longer, so you can recover ground, if you have the pace. But if you're in the front and uh, running clean, you just wish the, the race to end quicker, instead of uh, trying to survive through all the laps. Oh, is Dimi finished his stream? Oh, never mind. This is not his channel. My opera is lagging. 
some reason everything is having problems today this content is unavailable hmm. very strange is it not his uh, channel Weird. Okay, let's uh, just wait a little bit. It should be a penny second. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's without space. I must have entered it before manually and it remembered. He did the same. He missed the breaking point there as well. They collided and there was so, my, so much time. And because of that, they had no chance. Actually, Enrique was able to uh, was able to win some positions back and he finished in second position. But I guess Crystal was just walking pace on the straight to have uh, a chance about uh, anything more. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Decent points for the team and decent points for the team. And this is my first 55 podium. I drive. I drove. I drove so consistent, so consistent, not a single outbreak, especially at the end with less fuel, I was even more, uh, I was even more uh, confident and I was pushing even more because I know, I knew Donnie will increase the pace, so I had to answer that and at the end it was just 3 seconds ahead of Donnie, but on the podium, on the podium, P3 for us and P6, I guess we will take some good uh, points in the championship. Let's wait a little bit more, guys. We will yeah, he's wait. waiting for the results as well. See yes. when the results will be updated and uh, uploaded in the system, so we can take a look at the championship standings with that P3. Now I'm uh, now out of nowhere. I have a decent chance for maybe top six in the championship, even though I had two. Uh, didn't starts and I had one engine failure so basically because of uh, the rule that the two worst results did not count and that third position I have a decent chance for maybe top six and let me show you before before this round yeah yeah indeed two drop results and before this round the championship standings are as follows a stream inception yeah <laughs> oh uh these are these are the privateers i believe yeah let's take a look these are the works division the so-called division uh one and before this before this round, I had I was in seventh position, but oh, actually I have just uh, one DNF and uh, one didn't start, one DNF and one DNS. So basically, I'm in a I'm in a very cute position, so to say, 28, 21, 43, and oh, actually, no, this oh, I have a podium actually. I forgot about that second position in. Uh, Indianapolis so basically this is my second podium guys second podium with 37 points more yeah yeah top six is uh, absolutely possible absolutely possible mm, I think if we take a uh, few Thorntons two worst results I'm gonna be just behind him and now I'm gonna overtake him because of uh, the results I completely forgot about uh, Indy, but but uh, this podium, even though at Indy I was in second position and uh, tonight I was in third position, this podium means more to me because this time we had to use the brakes. At Indy we were almost flat out everywhere. We were just lifting the throttle for the corners and just uh, touching the brake for a moment. So we had no problems with the brakes, but here, here we had to be on spot 
Yeah, exactly. Indy is a different kind of uh, truck. Okay, I'm gonna wait a little bit more. I really want to yeah, see. Yeah, normally it takes uh, faster uh, for them to upload the, the result, standings uploaded. Hopefully soon. And our position there. Yeah, shame about what happened with so many people. By the way, while we were waiting, actually, I'm gonna show you the replay. I was uh, lucky at the start, by the way, because I had to go a little bit uh, on the grass with two wheels, though, with two wheels. And that helped me to basically uh, go uh, from P6 to P4, and that was vital for my chances. Then Christo and Enrique uh, collided, I was in P2. Then it was. Uh... By the way, guys, my screen has now been. Uh, fixed. I can see perfectly now. I guess it was just because of the Nvidia settings at the end. And yeah, then it was uh, Hugh Thornton behind me. He was uh, faster. He was faster. No, I, they was, take... uh, I was uh, too, too. They take protests after the results are uploaded. So these are basically uh, provisional results. And then you have the option to send a report to protest. And then I had a clear circuit. I don't know, Christo. I don't know. You, you have to check this and you have to fix it, of course. <coughs> uh, maybe I had a little bit of frame drop, but just for a moment, a little bit later, maybe in the second lap, stuff like that. I felt something, but I'm not sure. But yeah, in uh, with these cars, with this pink, you need the perfect uh, frame uh, consistency. And now let's take a look at my start. A very decent start. I'm so proud of this start. Oh, oh I can understand. I can understand. That sucks, man. Something happened with your installation, I guess. Yeah, that, uh, just a little bit on the dirt, but two wheels, two wheels on the road at any, at any time, at all time. So this is uh, clearly. This is interesting uh, start there by the Yeah, it's my installation, <laughs> Hussle, but it's uh, your Igor on top of that. Your gem was. So, we cannot be sure it's the game installation or gem plus. Yeah, of course, of course. Here I care about the results because I know I can get good results. In RBR I don't think I can get them. At least at my level at currently. And Not in terms of pace, you... but in terms of uh, consistency and safe Fair driving. For, all of us, I cannot see for rallying you cannot Not drive the same way. Take the corridor, yeah. I was just behind Christo, by the way, here. And I was going very well. Just a little bit slower, maybe. And then, unfortunately, Christo and Enrique did the same thing. And that gave me the second position. Then, I'm very curious to see what happened with... Uh, what happened with... Uh, Oh my gosh, I forgot the name. A uh, few Thornton and Enrique Farina. Oops, not that button, not that button. Okay, that's after the incident, I believe. See. By the way, Hiso, did you use a reset? Shift R. I was just catching you, Donnie, and the rest with 15 laps to go, but Phil and someone else collided, and I couldn't avoid them. No, I don't think it was going to be a nice battle because I believe you were going to eat me alive. 
my only chance was if uh, if the Ferrari is faster on the straights and with uh, more confident on uh, more confident on uh, braking. Maybe I was able to keep you behind, but only if I had more power on the straights. You are faster, man. You are maybe two seconds faster or stuff like that. 1.4, I believe, in the quali, so I don't think I had much of a chance. Ah, you are walking pace. Okay. I did a wonderful race, man. I, I can't remember another race that, co uh, that consistent driving from me. Such a consistent driving from me. Uh, from the start until the end, if we don't count that I was a little bit scared at the beginning and I was braking earlier, but after the middle of the race when the car was uh, wider, I was pushing really hard. I was pushing really hard and I was extremely uh, consistent and confident. Mistake here by Farina. He's in second, so I guess Christo is just behind. Yeah, that's very nice, CB. Nice one. It's not this swap, though. We need to wait a little bit more to okay, see. Okay, still no results. This is strange. Normally they are ah, up this is the within the two, three minutes. Are there, actually. I don't I'll understand. In this crash. Okay, let's watch first from Enrique. What happened? Did he just break too late? That's indeed too late. I guess he was just trying to catch up with the uh, evil Quaif. I guess he was just giving everything to stay with evil and he just outbreak himself. I know the brakes are. We both break too late. Ah, you were distracted. Yeah, yeah don't tell. Uh, don't tell me, by the way. Don't. Uh, don't tell me. I remember that. Oh man, you <laughs> you risk the uh, you risk the engine here. Wow. But I guess normally uh, it's normal because otherwise you're just going to smash that wall. Hello, do you like IndyCar racing too? Unfortunately, uh, hello, uh, White Magic Raven TV. Unfortunately, I have never played IndyCar racing too, but I'm a big uh, gra uh, GP Wops fan. Yeah, CB, that's my problem. I cannot uh, find a safe pace where I can still be competitive, but also uh, survive. Maybe on some combination of stages or some type of stages, especially on tarmac. I've done uh, full tarmac rallies without mistakes sometimes, but it's difficult. It it very much depends on also my state of mind, my health, my focus for the day, energy, and so on. Because, as you know, one little thing and maybe if I was uh, running every day like before, I could have got into a better uh, safe pace. But when I'm doing it from time to time, taking a break, it, uh, it changes so much. gonna show show us that i'm absolutely sure he loves this sim he enjoys this sim so i just get too impatient okay, especially on repeated Someone stages worst. some on some stages i just I want to get to the drink. finish Let's see. and not drive the stage maybe that's my problem sometimes i'm not enjoying some of the stages which means i'm not focused yeah. in the moment and uh, following the Actually, oh, he, he got a nudge. He That's why uh, Enrique managed Enrique to recover so fast. Bit, oh my by God. giving him a boost. <laughs> oh, video exists on YouTube already. Nice, nice. Thank you. I might check it after the end of the stream. And yeah, let's see results. Come on. Oh, okay. There they are. And uh, this is full view saying thank you very much to the three drivers ahead. <laughs> okay, it seems I lost the most time there in the spin the... because I was turned around.
with fuel and uh, but let's watch a little bit uh, Dimi's uh, recap of the race and then we'll check let's see results are finally up okay we will take a look at this moment as well we will take a look at the results and if i am able to find this video about uh, indycar racing i'm gonna show it to the uh, to the viewers as well so guys if you have a link for that please type it in the comments so okay so he's not going to to so to to show the whole replay let's uh, wait for him to show the next moment and then we'll check the results and i'm going to end the stream as uh, i need to take a break oh my god oh this, what happened? this is what happened oh i see now i really don't want to uh put a pressure on uh, enrique but phil was able to protect me for at least 15 laps without a single contact and this is enrique just joining us and this happened and uh, this happened i know it's just a small contact but yeah he pressed there the throttle on entry for a moment hit. which is what uh, happens if i enough if to I send make, into if i make a, a semi semi slip he's not gonna be able to avoid both of us in this situation yeah you cannot break and that's the end of uh, Hugh Thornton's hopes for a good result. Oh, he has to, work, to wait here so much. Yeah, poor Phil. He was able to protect me for... Let's see. This is WAP 9, so for 9 WAPs. He was able to protect me for 9 WAPs. Without a single touch. And he was faster. He was really faster. Yeah, poor, poor uh, few. Are... Yeah, CB, I can imagine. I can imagine. I've done that sometimes. And for example, especially with uh, Don, Fred, and Jimmy, and uh, you sometimes telling me to, to keep it in mind to survive. And sometimes I've driven like that, but I get so bored. Uh, that's my problem. I get impatient, bored, and... Okay, I, I'll i get the result, but I don't think I'll appreciate the result at the end. That much. If I didn't enjoy the driving. So I, I try to find a good balance between pushing and surviving, but I cannot go too much to the extreme of uh, just uh, going too slow to survive. Maybe on a short rally, but then on a short rally I, I approach it like a sprint race. So it's difficult. I know it's not realistic because in real life if it's a very long rally, uh, like um, safari rally and stuff like that, you need to not push most of the time. Yeah, but that's the problem. I don't care about the championship. Here I, I care about the championship. In RBR I don't care about the championship. <laughs> I guess that's the problem. Because I'm not at the moment in a condition where I can dedicate time to more than a single series. And in RBR we have so many championships. And I'm registered for all of them. And I just enter for casually, for entertainment. But I understand, if you want to just, like I did in Bullers in uh, in the summer last year, there I cared. Maybe not in the first two rallies, but after that, when I saw I have a chance, okay, I approached it more seriously, and then it was fine. But now with SRM and the others, I don't care. So, of course, it's my choice. I agree. It's more interesting when you're fighting with uh, for the points and stuff like that. But for me, it's too challenging, I guess, at the moment at least, RBR. Especially these uh, long rallies. It requires so much focus. If I could just do one stage and then stop and maybe do another stage in 20-30 minutes and then stop and so on. If I could spread out everything then it will be fun. But driving a whole leg 
or two legs in a single go, it takes too much for me. Especially on stream, because on stream I have to comment, to read the chat, and it, it takes more energy. For example, here I wasn't almost looking at the chat or talking that much. Or I could talk on the straights, it's not a problem. But in RBR you have to listen to the co-driver. You have to drive like crazy. And... It's just too much of a challenge to me. At the moment. But maybe it will change. Maybe, maybe for the next rally it will be better. Actually, I, I think I was going very well on this uh, SRM event. On gravel, the first leg, I was not making mistakes. I was not uh, risking too much. But then that small mistake, it ruined everything. So sometimes you just have uh, bad luck. And I had bad luck there, I think. I braked early. I thought I just uh, drove the corner by memory, but I remember it wrong. It was a tighter corner. Even though I just did it uh, a few stages ago. But for some reason I thought the corner was tighter. And I was punished immediately. Because how can you pace yourself if you're misreading the corners, you know? You can think, okay, I'm driving safely and still crash. Yeah, I should talk, I've said it many times as well, I should talk between stages. But that's just one of the problems. The problem is sometimes, even if you're going safe, you can still crash. So I guess I'm misjudging the pace nodes, the corners. Just not that good of a driver, <laughs> basically. I'm able to push, but I'm not able to, to protect myself. Okay, let's uh, quick look check at the championship. Let's check the results and I'll stop. My leg to an SRM was almost flawless. Yeah, I liked all those stages, most of them. Just the pace notes were bad, but I liked the stages. It would have been a very enjoyable uh, rally to do all the stages. One red screen, I see. Okay, so Evil winning with a dominant performance and very fast, uh, fastest lap. Enrique breaking the records. <laughs> Four seconds lap. And Enrique in second. Dimi in third. Donny finally getting a good result. Fulvio keeping his... Uh, fifth position and we're finishing five seconds behind him in sixth johnny at the end almost getting me because of my mistake clive you sit and the retirements alan and leo and yeah i don't know why he's uh, listed twice he must have uh... yeah he changed the model during qualifying the uh, the car Yeah, yeah, you know, you know how strategically placed are those uh, spectators, photographers, rocks, trees, and so on. And they are on the wrong side of the corners, especially at hairpins, at, at square corners. You cannot have people on the outside. And still people put them there in the stages in the game. Perry Grosse, oh, that's, that's where, I know. I've hit the spectators there as well. Was it around the one of the right hair, hairpins? Maybe the first third of the stage. There is a right... An open right hairpin. Maybe not so open. And I've hit people there. Also on one of the left hairpins. If the rear steps out a little bit too much and you touch a spectator. Oh, okay. Maybe near the end, one of the hairpins. I don't know. I've hit spectators there always at the hairpins. 
if I'm not keeping it tight and neat and tidy on the inside. But it's stupid, because in real life, at such low speed, even if you touch a spectator, nothing would happen. They will jump ju just out of the way and you will continue. So I don't know why people put it for the challenge, I guess, when making stages, but the penalty is too much. 35 seconds. Left hairpin near the bridge. Hmm. Oh yeah, also in the middle of the stage, those very narrow hairpins. Especially the right one, but also the left. Oh yeah, near the bridge. That's what you mean. The bridge after the right hairpin. I remember now. Yeah, yeah. It's awful there. It was wet. Oh, I'm I'm kind of uh, happy that I didn't have to drive, <laughs> because with the Audi there, the stage is so narrow sometimes. And it's very difficult to take the, the tight corners. The handbrake is not good. I would have been so frustrated having to cruise around. I guess it's a matter of emotional maturity, by the way, for rallying. You need to be really in control of all of your emotions all the time. And that's where I'm struggling, I guess. But uh, okay, it's a work in progress. It's a challenge to improve over time if you want it's just that i don't care that much about championship and maybe that's affecting my driving as well i'm not thinking about it and i'm just enjoying the the driving itself uh let's see let's see uh championship standings wet tore vecchia very silly yeah i can imagine that one as well I think, but of course this requires uh, me to work, not, not to complain. If I have a good pace notes everywhere, it would improve th things massively because I won't get so frustrated. I'll be having uh, consistent driving everywhere. And then if something happens, it will be completely my mistake. No, nobody else's. But uh, yeah. The pace not work requires so much time spent. Okay, still leading, but now Evo very close. He jumped like 25 points here, obviously. Now, let's see. If we drop these 25 and 25 for now, he is dropping 23 and 28. So, we are both dropping... I'm dropping 50 points, he is dropping... Uh, 51 points so the gap is basically the same between us Dimi jumping up to 7th and in the teams because of his good result we are still scoring very strongly even though Blue Moose scored very very high points we maintain a good gap in front yeah exactly exactly of course if you want to be... Because at the Bullers Championship last summer, I spent time. I I spent hours for two days on each uh, leg or, or each rally. I don't, I don't remember, but I spent a lot of time to edit some pace notes. And it made a difference. I didn't crash. Not only I didn't crash, but on the second runs, I could even push harder and still not not been it somewhere that's the problem for example when i crashed uh, on srm the other day on the gravel corner at uh, new bobs the pace note there is a uh, four right if i was making the pace note i would make it four right titans or three right and it would make a difference but I would have to drive to the pace note, not by memory. And there I was ignoring the pace note, and I was trying to drive by memory. Because I knew the pace note is wrong anyway, on, on most corners on this uh, stage. So yeah, I decided to drive that stage by memory mostly, and I didn't remember properly. 
So it's always better to have uh, the correct pace nodes rather than drive by memory everywhere. You cannot remember, at least personally me, I cannot remember everything. Too many stages, too many corners. The funny thing is I've crashed there so many times. Because this is a very critical corner at the end. It tightens before the finish. But this time the consequence of going off was uh, much bigger than usual. Usually you just spin around, you lose time, or maybe flip over and stop. But now it it went like a rocket into the trees. That's why I wasn't worried. We, even when I ma was making the mistake, I thought, okay, it's fine. I'm just going to lose time and damage the car maybe. But it, it shot off the banking end. In a rally that almost anyone can enter, that's in my country. You have to make the notes when the stage is open to the public. Oh, interesting. But that's kind of a cheating because you basically can go through the stage many times and maybe even try to, to race to go fast in some of the corners. But yeah, I understand. Actually, I'm not sure now when you said that in uh, the World Rally Championship, do they close the roads when they make the pace notes? Are the stages already closed? Or do they do them uh, with traffic? I'm not sure. I know they're using uh, road cars going slower. But I think the stages are already closed. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, yeah, of course. Police doesn't... You have to avoid the police. <laughs> okay, Donnie in 9, the Johnny in 4. So basically, for the moment, Evo is our main opponent. Wow, he has 20 tokens. I have 15. He's still advantage with the cars. But at least we are closer now. I think I used up too much at Indy. That was the problem. But it was worth it. Life having 17, Johnny 34. Okay, so Johnny, Johnny should be able to, especially if he drops these results. He's dropping only 23 points compared to 50. So he's closer to us than it seems. Clive is uh, going to drop behind him at the moment. Johnny, if he has a uh, trains at on April 28th, so in two weeks. If he has a good result, a win, for example, with a fast car, he can be up there at the end. Oaksfield, I don't remember this track. Maybe I've not driven it. Bahamas, interesting. Then we have Spa. This is going to be crazy. And Zandvoort. Oh, interesting. That will be so much fun. Drifting around the banked corners. Wow. And you're not using that much brake. For turn 1, turn 3, and that's it on this uh, old version. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Zandvoort. That will be amazing. But the tires will be so overheating. Slow corners are marked with signs. The rest is up to the driver. Yeah, yeah. This is the lower uh, category of rallies. Crap car racing. <laughs> I think I've seen this before. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was actually... I think if I didn't make mistake, if I didn't have FPS issues, it wouldn't have been so enjoyable for you guys. I would have been happier with the result, but it would have been more boring. Because... I think the only driver we could have realistically battled with the same pace was Enrique, and that's it. But with these issues, it was uh, up and down, up and down, exciting overtakes, uh, collisions, scary moments, so it was fun. Thank you very much for watching. I am going to take a break again from uh, streaming, maybe, but if I'm feeling well, I'll do some RBR next week. If not, maybe the week after. And until then, have a nice uh, week next week. And see you again soon. Bye-bye.